Welcome to my kitchen. Today uh, I'm going to show you how to make homemade Greek style yogurt. Uh, Greek style yogurt is that uh, really thick stuff uh, that you get in the grocery store that you can put uh, fruit or granola on and it's just really really heavenly. Uh, sometimes in Europe they call it quark. Uh, but anyway uh, we're going to make that here at home and, and step one is to take uh, some milk and scald it. Um, this is about a half gallon of milk and uh, I've got it on medium high heat and I am trying to get this uh, milk up to a temperature of about 180 degrees and we are almost there. It's a good idea to keep stirring it from time to time. You definitely don't want that to scorch. Um, so uh, just keep heating that up until that reaches 180 degrees. Once it reaches 180, we're going to uh, let it cool down. Okay, we have now cooled this milk down to about uh, 100 degrees. And uh, that's right about where we want it at, is 100 degrees. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our little bit of yogurt that was left over. I would say this is uh, somewhere between, oh, three and four tablespoons. And we're just going to gently stir that in. It's going to take all of it. And uh, what we want to do is just gently stir that in. And uh, what we're going to do after this is we're going to uh, incubate this. So once I get this all stirred in, I'm going to try to keep it at a nice warm temperature. You know, say about body heat or something like that. Um, you know, maybe somewhere around 80 degrees or so. Uh, certainly not below 70. Uh, if you're doing this in the summertime, you can, you can do it right out on your countertop. Um, it's, it's sort of the winter now, so I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in this oven with the, um, with the light on. That's like the perfect, for me, that's the perfect uh, incubation temperature is uh, right in my oven with the light on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right after I get this stirred in. I'm just going just gonna to put a lid on it, and I'm just going to put it in my oven, and I'm going to uh, turn the light on, and obviously not turn the oven on, just turn the light on in the oven. And, uh, and then I'm going to let it incubate for about anywhere from four to eight hours. So we'll go ahead and pop that in there and see how long it takes to set up. Okay, there it is in the oven. Again, the oven light is on, but the oven itself is off. Let me close the door there, and we're just going to leave it in there again for about four to eight hours. And after that time, we'll check it, and we'll begin to see, look and see if it is actually uh, firmed up, meaning that that um, live culture that was present in the yogurt that came from the store has permeated and grown into the milk that is... Uh, was scalded. And again, you're, the reason you scald the milk is because you're trying to destroy any bacteria that might be present in the milk before this process begins. You want to scald the milk, kill all of that possible bad bacteria, and then introduce a good live bacteria, live culture that will then grow and permeate into that milk and, uh, and solidify it. It's very exciting. All right. It's actually the next morning. It took uh, overnight for this yogurt to set up. Um, my uh, my system just wasn't quite warm enough. It wasn't quite near enough to the light. I had to stuff the oven vent with a little bit of material just to keep the heat in there. It's also winter time, so the room's a little cooler. Um, it varies depending on um, how long it may take for that yogurt to set up. It could take as little as four hours or it could take as long as 12. So um, uh, just just uh, know what to look for. And right now I'm going to show you what that product should look like so that you know that it's done. Okay. What we've got here is a single solid mass of material with a little bit of whey, whey floating on the top. See that stuff moving around on the surface? That's actually whey. And uh, if we were just to gently scoop in this, we would have yogurt. Now, you might say, well, what's wrong with that? That looks perfectly acceptable. Well, I have found that um, if you see how easily that breaks, um, this is a, a, a perfectly acceptable yogurt for cooking and baking, etc., but it's, it's a little bit thin, and it's not quite the consistency that we're looking for with that thick Greek-style yogurt. Uh, so we've got to do one more step to it. All right, and that final step is to strain it through several, uh, two layers of cheesecloth, uh, leaving a basin underneath it to catch the whey that's going to come out of it. We are going to separate uh, as much of the whey from this yogurt as we can, and that will achieve that nice, thick consistency that we're looking for. So two layers of cheesecloth, the regular colander that you would use for pasta, and we're just going to pour 
that down in there. There we go. I'll probably scrape out the last bits of that in just a second, but there you have it. This will very slowly, over time, drain the way. You can already see it beginning to happen. There's the way coming out of the bottom. And uh, we're going to let this uh, drain like this for several hours in the refrigerator. So I'm going to now move this to the refrigerator to keep it cool, and we're going to let it drain. All right, this has now been draining all day, and uh, what we have now is a very thick um, Greek-style yogurt here, very thick consistency, as you can see. That is exactly what we wanted to achieve. Look how it's just kind of hanging on there. And then underneath this colander, we have about an inch of very clear whey. Um, so what we're going to do is now, we're not going to discard all of this way. I'm going to go over what we're going to do with that in just a minute. But um, at this point, we'll just take a nice uh, clean bowl here and uh, we will very carefully scoop this stuff out. Um, I like to uh, just kind of let it fall out. I'll show you what I uh, mean by that. If you just kind of lift this up, see how it sort of begins to pull away uh, from the, the, uh, the cloth, the cheesecloth. Um, that's kind of what you want to do because it'll really just kind of come out of there in one big clump. So let's just try to do that. Great. There we have it. There's a little bit more in that cheesecloth there, but I'll go ahead and, and, and get that out in just a second. So, uh, that is it. And I would say that's probably about four cups or so of beautiful, thick, Greek-style yogurt. And next, I'm going to show you how I prefer to eat it. Put a little dollop in there. A little dash of granola. And finally, some honey. And that is a wonderful and healthy, tasty treat. Okay, some final thoughts here before we wrap this up. Um, save a little bit of the whey. Um, the reason for that is that this whey contains the exact uh, same live culture that exists in the yogurt. So uh, if, you, uh, if you hold on to this, you can use this as your live culture instead of just a, a couple of tablespoons of leftover yogurt. Um, so you, that way you can eat all of the yogurt and, and not have to save any. But anyway, um, you want to uh, do this again, uh, I would say no more than uh, two weeks out from the date that you make it. So this, this culture is going to be viable um, for, I would say, you know, one and a half to two weeks at the most. Uh, you would want to do that again. You want to make sure that you make yogurt again and keep doing that every one to two weeks and you will just have lots and lots and lots of good live fresh culture for that. So, uh, happy yogurt making. Let me know how you make out. And with that, I'm going to try some of this. Mmm, wonderful.